Hello everybody, welcome back to my studio. Uh, it is a new day and another day of pouring. Um, so before I get started, I'm gonna do a quick intro because there's something I wanna show you on the table and I'd have to bring you down for it. But first, I want to say thank you to a few people. Uh, Marion, uh, who sent me um, a bunch of goodies from Australia. Uh, thank you so much for sending me all that junk food. I swear, everyone keeps sending me junk food. I'm gonna end up 500 pounds by the time I'm done. Um, but I loved the stuff. I'm gonna put a picture here. This is all the stuff she sent me. Now I've heard about Vegemite or Vegemite or however you pronounce it. I have yet to try it and I do know, I've, I've heard because my older brother used to live in Australia for about over just over 10 years in uh, New South Wales. Um, but anywho, he's told me all about that stuff. So thank you for the chocolates. Today I got chocolates from Linny from the UK who sent me more Toblerone. <laughs> <laughs> more Toblerone chocolate so thank you Lenny for the chocolate and last I um, got a nice gift with this nice handmade card here um, from one of my viewers uh, Renee I'm not gonna read the card but um, very cute she made that herself but wait till you see what she sent me I'd be wearing it but then you wouldn't see it because of the apron right check this out <laughs> look at it says canela isms and it says it is what it is look at the shimmer it's so pretty anywho and matchy matchy it's a three-quarter length um long sleeve which is perfect i love it it fits so nicely and it's so thoughtful super neat so thank you thank you so much for the thoughtful gift i love it it's super cool um, so I just wanted to say thank you to those wonderful ladies for all the nice stuff. Um, coaster rounds. So the coaster rounds. A lot of people were asking me, like I showed you guys the ones with resin. Where are they? I'll show you this one because I don't know where the other one is. This is just the two and a half inch one with the magnet on the back. But this is resin. So I poured resin on it and um, it didn't warp. It was perfectly fine. And then I had a few people who were ordering them ask me, hey, what about the acrylic paint? Is it gonna warp with that? And I'm like, hmm, I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. So I didn't have any left, unfortunately, because I literally packed them all up, except for one box that's heading on over to my good friend, Tammy Anderson. Um, so I said, I messaged her up and I said, hey, Tammy, I'm gonna open your box and steal one out of there <laughs> so that I could try it. And I did. I actually did a little mini Dutch pour. And then of course, like an idiot, I touched it. <laughs> look what I did how silly I stuck my finger in it but anywho this was a tester anyway I didn't even tape the back but um, I tested it out the other night I literally poured a bunch of white base paint on it and then um, colors in the middle blew it out with my mouth and I ended up with this gorgeous piece which I'm so mad I did that too um, but anywho and it did not warp at all I did not prime it I did not gesso it I did nothing to it I literally just poured paint on it and um, it is flat as board, like flat. It did not warp at all. So I'm super excited about that. And then, um, you know, I would have liked to resin this and make a coaster out of it, but I might just pour over it. We'll see. But uh, look how pretty it ended up being. Like, how nice is that? And if this gets a nice coat of crystal resin, it's gonna be gorgeous. And then I'm gonna get um, cork backings, which, It's all the way over there now. Um, but I'm gonna get cork backings for them um, and then make coasters out of them. So you will find, um, I'll put cork backings, circle ones on my Amazon shop. Um, speaking of crystal resin, don't forget the sale is still, the promo is still going on. So you can now um, save, it started Monday and you are watching this, what, Tuesday? Yes, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, yes, Tuesday. Um, so it is free shipping to Canada, which it always is, but now it's free shipping to the US for the next 10 days. So take advantage of this promo deal, guys. You can now um, save on the shipping charges, but you can also still save the 5% on the website using code Canala5. So stock up while you can. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say for the intro. I'm gonna bring you guys down because I wanna show you what I bought off Amazon. And it's the first time I'm using it, so it's a, it's a trial and error, but I have a feeling it's gonna work out really well. So let me put you guys on pause and I will be right 
back. Okay, so do you notice my canvas is pretty high up off the table? Um, do you notice that when I do my other videos, I typically have popsicle sticks, you know, completely, you know, leveling up this side of the canvas. You know, I have popsicle sticks and paper jammed under there and all that. Well, look what I found on Amazon and I'm trying this out for the first time and I hope they don't fall out, but there we go. So I have taped the back of my canvas. This is a 20 by 20 inch canvas. Now I'm going to take one out so I can show you guys. So these are what's called furniture levelers. So you put them underneath your tables, your couches, your TV units, whatever. And then you can twist the bottom and level out whatever furniture you have this screwed into, right? Cause there's four holes. So it comes out pretty far. There we go. So it's about as far as that, which you shouldn't need more than that to level something, right? But this is pretty neat because I'm always sitting there with popsicle sticks and maybe if I'd add, add, add two popsicle sticks, it's a little too much and then, but this, just a little quick twist and every little twist makes a difference. So, and what I did, what I like about these is because they have holes in them, I've put them here on my canvas. Now you can put it right to the edge like this and just, um, I use push pins to actually hold them in place. So you can hammer it into the wood frame, or what I like to do with my push pins anyway, is on the level three, let me see if I have one where I can show you. On the level three, yeah, here, I can show you, no, it's wrapped up. But you see that rubber in there? There's a rubber in there. I push my push pins into the rubber here. Right, that's how I put my push pins in normally. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to put these a little bit in and then I put the push pins in the rubber part, right? Just like so, because I don't want to get these completely filthy with paint. I know they're gonna get paint on them. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about that. But if they're a little farther away from the edge like this, Odds are they may not get paint around here. They'll get paint on the legs, I'm sure. Like, again, this is the first time I'm using these. So this is complete trial for me and we'll see how it fares out. But I wanted to show it to you guys. Um, and these were um, 18 bucks off Amazon Canada. So I know they're cheaper on Amazon US, obviously. And um, I can't remember the size of this, like the 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 height of this, but there's also an extra taller one as well. So there's an even taller version for like 22, 23 bucks or something like that. So I wanted to, sh to try these out and, you know, and see how it goes. Now, when I flipped this over earlier, one of them fell out because, you know, it's just, it, the push pin fell out. Which way am I going now? I can't remember which way I did that. Yes, this way. Yes, perfect. Okay, so, and just like that, I am now set up and ready. The canvas is actually a lot taller for me. Now, over here, maybe you'll see, see how I've raised this one up and this one up because my canvas wasn't level. So all I did was I put my level right here, just like so, and as I'm looking, it's still perfectly level. And then what I did was I literally just twisted the bottom. I held up here. I held it from up here so it wouldn't twist. And I twisted the bottom until it raised up enough and now I'm perfectly level. I love these things so far. I don't see why it wouldn't work or why they wouldn't be good. So I'm probably gonna order another set because if I wanna do diptychs or triptychs, then it'll be great because Unfortunately, I have a feeling this corner of my table, um, you know, as much as I love my dad and he did do a fantastic job, something has happened with the MDF board um, that was on this part. Um, so this is the six foot and this was two feet. Um, so no, sorry. This was four feet and this was a two footer that we had to cut in half to make it six feet. So unfortunately, I think something's up with this corner over here because it's kind of going zoop like that. So anywho, but that's okay. I'm, I'm not worried about that because now I have these 
and I can um, level everything out, which is great. All right, uh, I think I'm going to move this back just a smidge. There we go, perfect. So I'm just gonna check again really quick, perfectly level. I don't know if you can see that. Look at that. I love these things. I would sit there with popsicle sticks and pieces of paper from um, my canvas, like this wrapping, this paper, and I used to like sit there and, you know, you've seen it. Actually, I've got a ton of them. I save them because I never know when I'm gonna need them. Never throw things out, but look, I save these. So like popsicle sticks with the plastic and paper and, you know, reuse, right? Always reuse, but look. So I used to put this under here, not anymore. Now we've got these and it's perfect because when I go to scrape my drips, it's really high up off the table, which is awesome. Okay, tonight's pour is a commissioned piece for a client of mine. And um, so she has chosen some really interesting colors, uh, colors that are pretty much in my color palette, but it doesn't matter what the client wants, the client gets. So I'm, I told her, I said, hey, I'm really weary about these colors, but I'm gonna give it a go and we'll see what happens. And she wants me to do, as you can see, I've done with pencil, um, a certain um, design. So she wants a certain composition done. So that's what we are going to do. I have mixed, like I said, this is a 20 by 20 inch canvas and she wanted a phthalo green for the base. So I have chosen phthalo green by um, Amsterdam as my base. And I have some here in my squeeze bottle, my Loli Vecchi squeeze bottle. And then the colors here that I am using are almost all Amsterdam. I'm really loving the new Amsterdam paints. So we have turquoise green by Amsterdam. Then we have Naples yellow by Amsterdam. Then we have sky blue light by Amsterdam olive green light by Amsterdam and of course some 24 karat gold by Deco Art. Then we have phthalo blue by Amsterdam and topping it off we have iridescent green yellow by Peveo Studio Acrylics. So two, four, six, seven colors and two of which are not Amsterdam. So I'm going to, I mixed a big cup here and I'm just gonna give it a quick stir and I guess you're gonna get to see, and I'm using my Loli Vefi um, reusable stick, which I am loving these. I would have probably gone through three popsicle sticks or so doing all of this just to get this ready, but nope, not this time. All you do is just give it a quick wipe down and you are ready to use it for another go and I've used it with resin and I've cleared them off, cleaned them off with isopropyl alcohol as well. Whoa, that almost spilled all over my hands. All right, so there we go. I just wanted to give it a quick stir. Um, I was gonna say something and I can't remember what I was gonna say. I don't remember. All right, so I really don't remember what I was gonna say. Huh, how interesting. All right, so phthalo green remember my stripes here because they're about to disappear with my phthalo green um now don't forget when you're doing a dark base it is going to dry a lot darker than when it's wet so please oh god i hope i have enough please keep that in mind and i did tell my client that i said are you sure you want phthalo without any white and she's like yep I said, all right, just keep in mind, it will dry darker. Um, boy, I hope I have, enough, <laughs> I have enough paint for this, but I do have the squeeze bottle as well. So um, that's a good thing there. And tonight I'm going to be using my regular hairdryer. Um, I did really enjoy using the cordless one, um, but I did notice that, and a lot of people actually commented the same thing that I noticed too, is because the concentrator um, on it is a lot smaller, the petals that I blew out. Oh, I should show you the dried piece. That's what I wanted to tell you guys, or one of the things I wanted to tell you guys and show you guys. Um, anywho, the concentrator, because it's smaller, um, the petals that got blown out 
were smaller. They're, they weren't more big fan type petals. So, and because this is a commission piece for a client, I wanna make sure I get this right and not muck it up. So I'm gonna use my regular uh, hair dryer for this one. All right, so, all right. I'm gonna put that there and I'm going to do my sides um, super quick. That's why I like these squeeze bottles because you just go across like this. All right, so I'm gonna just put you guys on pause so that I can actually get this ready because I don't want this to be 10 minutes of me doing a base. So hold on, be right back. All right, so before I continue really quickly, I totally forgot to show you guys the dried results of my um, Dutch pour with Tammy's concoction with the primary elements as well. So this still needs um, a coat of crystal resin and I managed to make it stop moving up here at the top and uh, it dried beautifully. Now you can see the primary elements all in the back there, but uh, super happy with this piece. And like I said, this is ready for um, a coat of crystal resin. So I'm just gonna put that over here and then I'm gonna show you really quick the uh, pastel piece. So a lot of you thought that this was going in my daughter's room. No, um, this was just inspired by the colors in my daughter's room. This is actually up for grabs and available for purchase for anyone who is interested, but it dried beautifully. I'm actually really happy with the way, with the way it dried. So yeah, there you go. That will get crystal resin as well. Okay. Let's get going. I've done my sides really, really briefly. Um, there's no point in messing with it too much because I will mess with it after the pour. So I'm just gonna pop the bubbles here really quickly. It's so weird because the canvas is so much higher than I'm used to. This is interesting. All right, and I've cleaned off my stick. See, super easy. Uh, all right, let's get started. I gotta remember now. She wanted it this way and that way. All right, let's start with the turquoise. So we are going, I gotta remember this, I don't wanna muck it up. So she wanted this way and that I did. I literally just stuck the lid of my paint in there of a bottle I mean in there. All right. Yes. Okay. Perfect. And let's go with the Naples yellow. While I'm doing this, I'm going to tell you guys a really funny story. Story time! Because I like telling stories. So last week I cleaned out my closet, something I haven't done since um, before the renovation and things got piled in there that shouldn't have because of the reno and all that. So I finally had a chance to go through my closet. I literally took a whole day. I got rid of a bunch of clothes that I looked at and I thought, I'm never gonna wear this stuff again. So I got rid of it. And um, I also had a bunch of shoes. Now, if anyone knows me, which I know you guys don't know me that well, but all my close friends and family know I have an absolute shoe addiction. Uh, not purses, not makeup, shoes. I got a big shoe addiction and um, I'm obsessed with um, Aldo. And I know you guys have an Aldo in the US. Um, but I'm obsessed with all those shoes. And if you saw my closet, you wouldn't believe it. Actually, I'm going to put a picture right here. That is um, the top shelf of my closet. And um, I have a lot of all those shoes. Now, a lot of my shoes back in the day, years ago, um, I used to wear really, really, really high stilettos. Um, nice heels and all that kind of stuff. So anyways, um, I went through my closet, chose about, I don't know, 15 pairs that I looked at. And I'm like, oh, I'm never going to wear these again. And so I put them aside and I didn't know what to do with them. I was just going to donate them to like Goodwill or whatever. And I went to the post office today to go um, drop off parcels for people who ordered merchandise. And as I'm walking through the, the store to get to the back area where the postal service is, um, I see this beautiful older lady, um, probably in her late 50s, early 60s, dressed very classy, very beautiful. And she had these beautiful stiletto boots on. And I looked at her and I'm like, 
she would appreciate my shoes. So I stopped her in the middle of the aisle like a crazy woman. And uh, she looked like she had the same foot size as me. So I stopped her and I said, hey, I love your shoes. And she's like, oh, thank you. I said, what size are your feet? And she looked at me like I was crazy. And she goes, I'm a nine, why? I said, perfect. I said, I have a bunch of shoes. They're all in their box, nicely meticulous, per perfect with the tissue paper in them. I said, these are pictures. I said, are you interested in, in taking them off my hands? Let me tell you, I made that woman so happy. We exchanged numbers. She came by my house later this afternoon and she took all 15 pairs. It was like Christmas day for her. She was so happy. I was so happy that I was able to give them to someone who I knew would take care of them and use them. So that is my good feel story of the day. <laughs> so yeah, I'm super happy I, I got a chance to give her um, those shoes and she was super, super happy. I'm, and I'm like, she must've thought I was a Looney Tune stopping her and showing her pictures of shoes on my phone. Okay, I am going to blow this out. Now this should be tricky because I've got like a double here. Um, so I think, how should I do this? I think I'm gonna blow out the this way on both sides because there's a lot of paint here. So I might as well try and fan it out and then I'm gonna concentrate as I go. So let's see um, what happens. What can I say? Once again, my clients proved me wrong. You know, I've had a few commission pieces where my clients tell me these are the colors I want and I kid you not, in my head I think, oh my gosh, I don't know about that. And lo and behold, I do the piece and I'm just dumbfounded, absolutely dumbfounded. And I'm getting green paint on me, but I I even told her, I said, Catherine, I'm like, I'm not sure about these colors, but if that's what you want, that's what I'll do. But don't get mad if they, it doesn't turn out the way you want it. And look at this. It's gorgeous. It is absolutely gorgeous. I just, wow. Wow. The green, the iridescent green here. And look at that little Naples yellow in here. It's so pretty. Now I'm gonna fidget with it just a bit over here. So let me do that. The only part I was worried about was in here because I didn't leave enough like space opening. So I didn't get to blow out this part in here very much. But that's okay because I actually love, when I bring you down for a close-up, you'll see it. There is the sky blue, the um, light olive green, the Naples yellow, and then that turquoise green in here, which I really, really like. Now I'm going to... wanted to put my finger here and move this over. That's what I wanted to do. Don't mind me, just fidgeting. Okay. Wow, it's so pretty. And you know, I was really skeptical about the phthalo blue. I was like, you know what? I don't know about that. But boy, oh boy, do I love it. It is gorgeous. Now I'm just looking. There's a petal here I'm gonna wanna torch. So I'm gonna do that really quick. Oh yes, I like the way that did that. I don't like torching everything because I don't want all these in here. I don't, um, but I also, I'm gonna get my other torch. 
I always never, I always forget. Where is my other torch? Oh, it was right here. It was on the table. I want to torch just a little bit down here. And this petal here. That's it. I love it. I'm not even going to touch anything else. I'm going to bring you guys down for a close-up. All right, everybody. So here we go. And don't forget to scrape your drips. Look how much easier it is to scrape the drips when the canvas is so much higher from off the table. Now I will admit the one issue I had is if I went to blow over um, a part over here and it's so much taller that I had to be careful that I didn't get my lady friends um, in the painting. So it is a little taller so I might get myself a little stool or something like that. But I uh, can't see what I'm doing and look at the camera at the same time. But anywho, don't forget to scrape your drips. I'll do the other sides later. Let's check out the close-up. So, oh, it's so pretty. So pretty. I can't get over it. And, like, I like this part here. Look at that, like, greeny color there. That is the uh, turquoise green by Amsterdam there. So let's check it out first with the lights on. So you see, that's where I torched it and it brought out some little bit of a design there. And look at the rest of this. This is going to shimmer really well when it's dry. And then I torched there because it was all yellow, right? Or green. So I think that was a good idea there. I'm loving this. Look at the cells and just like the the design on this. I'm super duper happy. Um, I hope my client is watching and she's super duper happy. I'm pretty sure she is. Um, but you proved me wrong. I thought it wasn't going to look great, but boy, oh boy, I'm really liking it. Okay. Let's turn off this, the studio lights. All right. I've got the flash on. I've got the ring light on. Let's check out. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at that. Oh, yes. I am super happy about this. Wow. Oh, before I forget, don't forget, I have the great, we have the great switcheroo part three coming up. Not this upcoming weekend, next weekend. So it's on Sunday. I will put up a picture after I show you guys the close up, but before I forget, I wanted to mention that the Great Switcheroo Part 3 is coming up. Look at that spot right there. Wow. This whole thing shimmers. It's amazing. That's gorgeous. That's the 24 karat gold and the iridescent green violet. Because none of the other colors um, were shimmery, metallic, iridescent, or anything like that. It's just those two colors. That's it. Look at that. Look at that shimmer. That's all right. Okay, let's uh, turn the flashes off. Be right back. All right, guys. So here we go. Um, let me put up the um, switcheroo info right now really quickly for you guys to see. So there you have it. That is the upcoming weekend from now on Sunday. So marketing your calendars and uh, come and join us for a good pouring. Uh, I'm not going to tell you guys what I'm doing or should I? No, I'm going to wait and I'm going to make you guys wait a little bit and then uh, maybe I'll tell you in the next video if I remember. But anywho, um, so let me know what you guys think about this piece in the comments below. Um, I'm going to put the these on my Amazon shop. So the links for that and my Amazon links is in the description below as well. Um, so check that out. Crystal resin discount, Loli Vuffy discount, um, Glitter Babes discount, Let's Resin discount, all kinds of discounts in the description below if you want to save some cash when you're shopping. Um, but I think that's it for now, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If uh, you are a new watcher and you would, uh, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Um, and I think that is it. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to say and I'm probably going to stop recording and think, oh, I forgot to say that, but that's okay. Next video. So uh, until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. 
and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.